the easy part. <laughs> you know, I feel it's kind of. No, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, I was supposed to make sure they were PC, but I don't know if Okay, we'll start with the hard ones. So I was like, we have to have hearts, we have to have hearts. How are you guys doing? No, don't applaud, don't applaud. We don't need to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so Sam and I are just going to be fielding uh, some questions here. I feel a little itchy yeah. there. Okay. So what is happening is we're going to answer your questions. That's pretty much it. <laughs> what we're going to do, we see that there are a lot of questions, and so we're going to answer a few of them on the cards. Then we're going to give people a chance if they want to actually raise their hand and ask a question. We'll do a few like that. We'll go back to the cards. We only have 15 minutes to answer some questions, so we will not get to all of them. However, you'll see us at meetups, you'll see us after the event. Um, you know, you can feel free to ask. Even send us messages, yes. So send us messages. Peter loves doing videos. I sort of enjoy doing videos. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. That's right, I'm getting there. So we would be very happy to answer some of your questions uh, on film. So. Ready to send us more. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Why do guys pull away when they have a great woman in front of them? Some guys try and they fail, but uh, uh, no. So why do guys pull away when they have a great woman in front of them? I guess I should answer this since I am. A man has the right chat. <laughs> so um, we tend to uh, pull away uh, from what might be good for us. One, if we don't recognize its value, or two, if we don't recognize our value. Okay, so that's why we sort of move away from what what is. And so um, if somebody is moving away from you, you, you can either express their value to them to let them know that they are good, that there's nothing to worry about, something like that. Uh, or you might have to acknowledge that they're not in a place where they're ready for a relationship. And although you might want a relationship, you don't want a relationship with somebody who's not ready for one. Right? Maybe they're just not into you. Uh, but you're all wonderful people. You guys are very interesting. It's the guy's problem. It's definitely the uh, <laughs> But yeah, we pull away when we don't see our own value or we don't recognize the value that's there. And so the only job that you have as a woman in this scenario is to more clearly demonstrate your value. So to know it fully yourself, okay? If you're hemming and hawing, if you're worried and doubtful, that comes through, right? That, that gets expressed. Does that make sense? Question. Letting go of controlling habit and how to deal with jealousy feelings. Okay, so some people are controlling, some people feel jealous. I used to be that way. <laughs> so what I've noticed is, for me, when I was jealous, when I was controlling, it was really because I didn't appreciate myself, I didn't value myself, I didn't see how good I was. And so what I was trying to do is control everything around me to make it perfect so I felt okay. So when you're not feeling okay, you want to make everything else be perfect, any situation, so it could be a person, it could be, I really used to have a problem choosing what food I was gonna eat, it was that bad. I had a hard time choosing what food I was gonna eat because I needed it to be perfect because if it wasn't perfect, I was gonna be disappointed and sad and cry and be upset to that extent. So what I say is, Work on yourself, build your self-esteem, get to a place where you love yourself, and then you can allow people to be more themselves. Even in terms of jealousy, jealousy really does come from a sense of insecurity. It comes from afraid that if they go with somebody else, I'm gonna end up alone, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna die alone, or I'm, gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be with him anymore. But what you start to realize when you build your self-confidence is that people can do what they want. Of course I don't want Peter to go off and, you know, live in Hawaii with another woman. <laughs> I want that to be <laughs> But what I realize now is that if he chooses that, it's because that's what he wants, and I will be okay even if that happens. So even if, 
you know, he's looking at another woman, or, um, and I feel a little bit jealous, I just realize that it's, a, it's an insecurity on my part, and I need to focus a little bit more, talk to myself, realize that it's okay, realize that I'm okay. Another thing to realize is that there's nothing inherently wrong with being controlling or jealous, right? One of the weirdest things I ever learned uh, teaching personal empowerment is that people don't just feel bad. They feel bad about feeling bad, right? They feel guilty about feeling guilty. And you can just experience the emotions that you're feeling and understand what it's telling you. When, you, when you're feeling jealous, that's not an excuse for you to, to like shut your brain off and say there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to worry about. What you have to ask yourself is, why do I feel jealous? What is this feeling telling me? It's giving me information. What is it within myself that can be modified, improved, or changed you know, for this feeling to go away? So to embrace the jealousy and for what it's telling you. And um, you can't control, I mean, controlling is fine too. Once you realize that the only person you can't control is yourself. Right? Trying to control others is a distortion of that feeling. The, your desire to control things is good, but you want to refocus that inward so that you're choosing the thoughts and you're choosing the beliefs that you're having. So the, I like the first step is not criticizing too harshly where you are. I'm jealous of control. Those are okay. Now to use that information to, to redirect your efforts.